Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to safely sanitize wood from the outside. Now I have another video on this as well. Most of the time if you go outside and you cut a tree limb off of a live tree and it's not dead, you really don't have to do this. But if you find some wood on the ground, maybe like some driftwood, you're a little scared that something might be in it, this video is for you because that's exactly what this video is about. So recently my friend cut down a dying oak tree and he gave me some of the wood and it was perfect for hides. And only that it was perfect for some of my roach colonies above me. But I knew that there was probably something living in there and for sure there was. And this is how I disinfected it, sanitized it, whatever you want to call it. This is how I made it safe for my reptiles and for my roaches. Okay, so you have your wood like my wood is right here. Depending on the thickness will also depend how long you have to cook it for. Mostly you're gonna cook it for 250 at two hours. But this wood right here, I had to cook for two and a half hours. It was much thicker wood. The first things first, one thing I like to do is I like to rinse it off. I don't like to soak it, just rinse it off. What I do is I just get a little scrubber and I scrub the wood off. As you can see right here, this is me. I scrubbed it off. Now my sink does look like it's getting soaked, but really I just clogged the sink up because there was just so much stuff coming off of it. But there's a scrubber, I'm just scrubbing it off, just cleaning it, give it a little clean. And obviously it is soaking kind of now, but it's just because I'm showing you what I'm doing. And then I like to put my little pieces in a pan. Now you don't have to do this. If you have a large piece, you could just put it on the rack inside of the oven. But this is me putting it inside of a pan. Now, like I said, you're gonna put it at 250 for two hours. You could throw the wood in there and then after two hours, you can take it out. And this is what it's gonna look like. Be careful, the pan and the wood is hot, okay? You're gonna have to you know, be careful not to get burned. But um, if you're worried about maybe you didn't, it's not hot enough, I like to get the core temperature of the wood to like 140 degrees. Obviously the outside is going to be hotter than the inside. So remember that you don't want it to catch fire, but after two hours, the core temperature is most likely gonna get hit 140 to 150 degrees. It is very important that you don't cook it for 300 to try to do it faster because if you cook it at that temperature, you're more likely to start a fire. 250 is fine, okay? 250 for two hours, it's quicker than you think, it's long. If you go for up to higher temperatures, you do risk of starting combustion on the wood itself. Wood is flammable. When it gets hot, it will catch fire. So don't go to 300 or anything like that. Just keep it at 250. And this is me right here putting the pieces in the roach enclosure. As you can tell, this wood is amazing. It's like those like um, hides that come with your enclosures at PetSmart. That's basically what it is. And I loved it, but like I said, you did see ants on it and I absolutely microwaved those suckers in the oven, man. So there is, I know these are kind of small pieces, but let's talk about large pieces. Let's say your oven's three foot and your stick is four foot long. How are you gonna sanitize that? So what you could do and what a lot of people do is they fill their bathtub up to the top. Now, I don't mean overflow it, but like up to the overflow line, if you fill that up, that's around 40 gallons of water and you don't have to fill it up. You can fill it up to like almost that. So around 30 to 40 gallons of water and then you can put 10 cups of bleach in the water mix it up put the wood in overnight and then what you do after that is you take it out you drain the water you you can rinse out the tub add regular water and then keep that in there soak it for another eight hours take it out and repeat it again for another eight hours and then you can just take it outside let it dry or you just let it dry on its own rinse it off and it will be perfectly fine after that Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comments and I will see you next time.